Hey folks, Vince Bruzzi here from Previews World, and we are finally getting around to talking to the man who's responsible for the Baltimore Comic Con, Mr. Mark Nathan. Hey, Vince. You are finally, finally here talking to us and telling us now, on record for the first time in Previews World, tell us now. Gotta finally! Go. Yeah, I, I knew he was going to do that! How did you get this? It's been 10 years now, right? 15. Fi I, I just lost my job. 15 years! This is the 15th show, ninth year we've had the Harvey Awards and 30 years of the store. So all these things are kind of anniversary-like. Now you're and in a different building now though. Last year you were down the street. We're, no, it's the same building. Same it's just building, but different side of the building. We were Harbor side, now we're ballpark side. This is the newer side of the convention center. It's bigger and larger and has bigger rooms. Like the panel rooms upstairs are much, much bigger. Mm -hmm. Kind of had to do it. So if you had to give me a brief uh, you know, summary of what's going on over the next three days, what you got going on as far as panels and guest appearances and oh, the, what's going on? Uh, Roger Ash of Westfield Comics runs our programming and he is absolutely amazing. If you look at it online and you look at the programming, it's, it's amazing. And I, I can't even get into all of it, but like things like the spotlight on Mark Wade or on Paul Levitt is moderated by Mark Wade. The spotlight on Greg Capullo is moderated by David Finch. I mean, is that, it just sounds like so much fun. Uh, we have on tomorrow, on Saturday, for those that, you know, today's Friday. On Saturday, we have um, um, Karen Nelson of the Schultz Museum, the director of the Schultz Museum, coming in, doing a, a panel on the history of Peanuts and Charlie Brown and Charles Schultz's life and bringing artwork that no one's ever seen before on slides. Apparently, he was working on a new strip near the end of his life where I was told, it kind of looks like the Peanuts characters if they were old. Isn't that cool? And then, and also, like he did um, greeting cards for friends, and he'd like to travel near the end of his life, and he would go to Europe and see friends, and he would draw the cards himself. So the guy who almost created Hallmark, almost created it, would draw his own art for you as a friend, and in a, but the style is completely different from I'm told. I haven't seen it yet, yeah. but it's complete. It's, it looks like like an underground cartoonist is what I've been told. It's completely different. So for somebody who loves Charlie Brown and Snoopy, which is almost all of America, right. it, this, got is, that here. this is something that they're going to see that they'll never get a chance to see again, except if they go to the Schultz Museum. That's kind of cool. That's fantastic. Yeah, and that's, that's exciting. So you've got three days here now in the city yeah. to show everything, and it looks like the attendance just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I've seen the television commercials now, so now you got commercials that you're running. We've been doing that, actually. I We've mean, been doing that. Yeah, but I mean, this thing, I mean, did you ever expect it to get this big, I guess, because okay, it looks since, like it Since you been. were around for the first one. I was there, uh, yes. When, when I can say that if you would have asked me all the way through the first year of doing the first one, anything past that, I, would, uh, I wouldn't I would know what you were talking about. I never, when I was putting the first one together, I didn't realize, hey, lifetime job, new career, new thing. I didn't think that at all. I just thought I wanted to do one because I wanted it done because I had stupid small town pride of Baltimore. Because I would do other shows in other places and other cities. And they would say, oh, well, where are you from? Baltimore. And they'd go like, oh. Like, I was like, <laughs> what the hell's that mean? <laughs> I, like, I was like, well, I'll show you. You're from Baltimore. I was right? like, what does that mean? <laughs> You know, and, and I'm not going to jab at another city, but at the towns that I was in, when I would hear that, I'm like, really? You're going to say that? And, you know, so my town pride jump-started saying, well, we can do this. We have friends. We can do it. And then it just grew uh, organically without that much effort because, you know, what we do is cool and people know it now. We've known it all along, though. So if people haven't had a chance to check out the Baltimore Comic Con, if they're sitting at home, if they're watching this on YouTube, wherever, and they're thinking about doing it, why would you say they should take the time to come to the Baltimore Comic Con? From the point of view of previews, since this is what this is about, um, it is totally and completely comic book centric, and the focus is strictly on reading, collecting, enjoying comics, and toys and things that go with it. Basically, it's, it's a convention perfect for the previews catalog, because everything in it is in that hall right now, all the way back to 1937. And that's a lot of product. That's a lot of product. and re I'm. I've never been more proud of the room than I am this year of the retailers that are in this room. They're scary good. The, the, this is an all-star lineup. I, I, I couldn't have hand-picked a better room. The, the, the material down, there's an Action 1 on the floor. There's actually a copy of Action there's 1 There's an on the Action floor. 1 on the floor right now. The when, one that went for $3 million? Or? <laughs> I'm, not going, that, I'm oh. not going to tell you that. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to tell you that. After the interview. Uh, Duh! <laughs> we'll get some secrets. Now, that's great, man. I mean, you've got actually, you've got high value real estate down here. People that are actually. There's a Superman, uh, there's a Superman one right by the door. 
there you you can fill out your golden age right now and i'm sure there's tons of spider-man ones and we have cgc doing on-site grading which is exciting too but with our 500 professional guest list signature series is a natural for collecting comics and the guest list like this and cgc doing on-site grading is exciting i would suspect sunday night there's going to be thousands of new cgc books on ebay all across that's a good right? guess yeah. i would think thousands <laughs> they're gonna there's going to be thousands they're I haven't seen the boys grading because they're buried in their room right now. Well, hey, sir, I'm going to let you get back to what you're doing because you're a busy man, and thank you so much. Alrighty. Folks, this is the man that makes it possible, Mr. Mark Nathan, Cards, Comics, and Collectibles, right? In, in Reisterstown, Maryland. In Reisterstown, Maryland. There's a store, so you can swing on by there and say hi to the man himself. All right, make sure you do, and keep the faith and keep reading comics.